What is up guys? It's Grandma Cacus here because we're bacon cookies. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be showcasing all of the different ingredients and recipes associated with the brand new Dawning 2019 event just added into Destiny 2. Baking cookies and delivering them will get you rewards including the brand new exclusive cold front submachine gun and no Knowing all the recipes will let you masterwork your dawning oven, which reduces the cost of the essence from 15 down to 10, allowing you to make just more cookies at a cheaper price. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, we need to go over the ingredients. It's useless to tell you the recipes if you don't know where to get the actual things to make the recipes. So, there's essentially two different kinds of ingredients. There's the green slot and then there's the blue slot. Essentially, green slot ingredients come from killing certain enemy types, whereas blue slot ingredients come from doing those kills in certain ways, using certain things to get those kills. So, let's go over the green slots first. We have Vex Milk. This is from Killing Vex, obviously. We have Chichen Powder, this is from Killing Hive, Cabal Oil, Killing Cabal, Taken Butter, Killing Taken, Dark Ether Cane is Killing Scorn, and Normal Ether Cane is from Killing Fallen. Pretty simplistic, but it's worth noting, it seems to take a while before these are triggered to spawn. Like, you're gonna be killing quite a few Scorn before you get your first Dark Aether Cane, and then once you do, it starts to steamroll, and you'll get them much more often, at least it seems. Moving on from there, we have all of the different second slot ingredients, the blue ingredients. So, let's go over them. Number one, we have Delicious Explosion. This is from Grenade, Rocket Launcher, and grenade launcher kills. Next up, we have Flash of Inspiration. This is from Orbs Generated. Then we have Impossible Heat. This is from Solar Damage Kills. Null Taste is from Void Damage Kills. And then Electric Flavor is from Arc Damage Kills. After that, we have Sharp Flavor. This is from Sword Kills. Then Personal Touch is from Melee Kills. Perfect Taste is from Precision Kills. Bullet Spray is from Fully Automatic Weapon Kills, like SMGs. Finishing Touch is from Finishing Kills. Then Balanced Flavors is from Bow, Scout, and Sniper Rifle Kills. Superb Texture is from Super Kills. Multifaceted Flavors is from Multi Kills. And A Pinch of Light is from Picking Up Orbs of Light, not Generating Them. Okay, so those are the ingredients. Let's go over the recipes and who to deliver them to. Firstly, we have Galar Doodles. These are made from one Ether Cane, one Delicious Explosion, and they're given to Commander Zavala in the tower. Moving on from there, we have Traveler Donut Holes. You're gonna need Cabal Oil and a Flash of Inspiration, obviously combined with Essence of Dawning, but that's true for all of them. And these are gonna be given to Ikora Ray in the tower. Next, we have Chocolate Ship Cookies. These are with Cabal Oil and Null Taste, and they're given to Amanda Holiday in the tower hangar. Next, Telemetry Tapioca. Vex Milk and Bullet Spray, and this is given to Banshee44, the gunsmith in the tower. Then we have Elsinki Birdseed, this is Ether Crane and Personal Touch, and this is given to Hawthorne's Falcon in the tower, right beside her. Next up, we have Gentleman's Shortbread. This is made from Ether Crane and Perfect Taste, and this is given to Devrim K in the Trossland of the EDZ. Next up, we have Alkaline Dragi Cookies. Uh, these are made from Chichen Powder and Bullet Spray, and they're given to Sloan on Titan. Moving on from there, we have the Infinite Forest Cake. This is made with Vex Milk and Impossible Heat, and it's given to Failsafe in Exodus Black on Nessus. Next, Radiolarian Pudding. It's made with Vex Milk and Electric Flavor, and it's given to Asher Mir on Io. After that, we have Vanilla Blades. Made with Cabal Oil and Sharp Flavor, it's given to Lord Shax in the Tower. 
Then we have Javelin Mooncake. This is made with chichen powder and sharp flavor, and it's given to Anna Bray on Mars. Moving on, we have Dark Chocolate Moats. These are made with Taken Butter and Null Taste, and they're given to the Drifter in the Tower Annex. Next, we have Candy Dead Ghosts. This is made from Dark Ether Crane and a Flash of Inspiration, and it's given to the Spider in the Tangled Shore. Then we have Ill Fortune Cookies made with Dark Ether Crane again and Impossible Heat. This is given to Petra Venge wherever she's located in the Dreaming City. Moving on from there, we have a bunch of the new ones and not all of these can be given out right now, but rather later in the dawning. So first off, we have Strange Cookies. These are made with Taken Butter and Electric Flavor and they're given to Zer and he's not here yet. So you're gonna have to wait for the weekend, go and visit Zer and then give him his cookie. Next up, we have one that can be given out much easier. It's Fractal Rolls. Made with Vex Milk and a Pinch of Light, they're given to Brother Vance in the Lighthouse on Mercury. Then we have a really tricky one, the Thousand Layer Cookie. Made with Taken Butter and a Delicious Explosion, it's given to Rivet. So how exactly does that work? Well, you are gonna have to load into the Last Wish raid and go to Riven. As you can see, for the final encounter, as you slowly float down, there is a glowing object on the ground on one of the sides of her. And as you can see, if you go to it, you can interact with it and it'll hand in your cookie automatically. And then it has a dawning symbol up here and stuff. So that's how you give Riven her cookie. Now, importantly, you can go in here solo because you can load into Last Wish go to the wish room and simply wish to Riven by entering the right code. And then from there, you simply stand on the plate, float down by yourself, hand in your cookie, and then you can get out of there. So you can give her the cookie without ever having to fight an enemy or beat an encounter. In any event, moving on, we have the Lavender Ribbon Cookies. These are made with Vex Milk and Personal Touch, and they're delivered to, it says, Saint-14 in the Tower Hangar. Importantly, he's not in the Tower Hangar. Likely, he will be going there either next week or potentially the week after, because this week, we've just saved him from the timeline. Next up, however, we have Fried Shadow. This is made with Dark Ether Crane and Superb Texture, and it's given to Callus. However, you don't actually have to go to him like Riven. It's simply the Visage of Callus statue, which is located in the Tribute Hall, as you can see. Next, we have Hot Crossfire Buns, and this is made from Ether Crane and Balanced Flavors, and this is delivered to Ada One in the Tower Annex. Much easier for that one. Then, moving on from there, we have Ascendant Oatmeal Raisin Cookies made with Chichen Powder and Finishing Touch, and this is just delivered to Eris Morn on the Moon. And finally, we have the Huckleberry Tart made with Cabal Oil and Multifaceted Flavors, and this is given to Benedict99 in the Tower Annex. And so guys, that concludes this complete baking guide. I hope you found this informative, found this useful. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.